Hey, John, well, at this point, the Islamic Center plan for the site behind me is a go. That's unless opponents pursue a lawsuit, which they could do. We just don't know. We haven't heard back from their attorney. In fact, we've had a hard time finding anyone in the area to talk to following last night's vote. I support the proposed Islamic Life Center because I welcome and value the diversity of religion and culture. The comments were short but heartfelt. People can free, pray wherever they want, but I want to preserve my house for my children that I bought. The three to two vote final, but not a single board member stepped up to explain their vote last night, nor when we reached out today. We did, however, receive a statement from Mayor Brainerd saying he was pleased that the BZA carefully listened to all sides and made the right decision based on the zoning rules. So as the houses continue to go up in this rapidly developing area, so will a mosque at the north end of this five-acre field. That's assuming Al Salam can raise the funds to build it, begin construction within three years, and keep to the plans approved Monday. That's also assuming opponents don't head to court to stop it. Now, we did reach out to their opponent to see what might be next, but haven't heard back. Nor were we able to find anyone in the nearby neighborhood willing to talk, but we did find several people in the Arts and Design District who'd been following the debate. You know, I totally understand where those neighbors are coming from. It's going to change the dynamic of the neighborhood a lot and potentially affect their uh, resale value. Whether I agree with any religion, they have the right to build a church here. I mean, we haven't excluded anybody. Why would we exclude um, a Muslim mosque? Now, a short time ago, I did talk to the head of the Al Salam Foundation, uh, which is behind the mosque. He told me they're very happy with the vote. When I asked about the possibility of a lawsuit, he said basically that the legal process is open to everyone. He said right now they're focused on fundraising. He said between the land acquisition and construction costs, it will be several million dollars that they will have to raise. Andrea. All right, the story continues. Mary Mills reporting live tonight. Thank you.